Welcome to the lecture. If you want to become a certified software professional and you want to accelerate your career, you want to stand out on the job interview, you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certification exam. How to take this exam and how to pass this exam, find out on the end of this lecture. If you find this video useful, click like and subscribe. In this lecture, we're going to show how to create a predefined views. So we're going to create views on the sheet and then we're going to save this sheet as a template, drawing template. And then we can use this drawing template with these predefined views for any model that we want to have those views. So let's show how this works. So first, let's create a new drawing sheet. Let's go here and let's make a drawing from part assembly. Let's go with a drawing view. And let's go with landscape and OK. And now let's go to view layout tab. And here we have predefined view. If you don't see predefined view tool here, you can go to search command and you can type here predefined and then you will find this tool here, predefined view tool. So let's select this tool. And now if we go with mouse over this sheet, we can define the views here. So here we have front view. As we can see here, this is front view. We can go here with projected view. So we can define the top view. We can define the right view. And here we can define isometric view like this. So those are some predefined views. And now we can just simply go here to save, save as, and we can choose here to save as drawing templates like this. And let's name it predefined view. Let's save it. And let's click OK. Now let's exit here. And we have this model. And now, for example, we want to create front, top, right, and isometric view of this model here. So we can go here, make drawing from part assembly. And here we have predefined view. So we can just click here, OK. And now we can see that those views that we have defined are automatically inserted of this model that we have choose. So here we have front view, top view, right view, and here we have 3D view. As you can see here, we can right click here and we can go alignment and break alignment. So we can put this view here. Not this one, but this one here, like this. And now here we have those predefined views. And now we can use this predefined template for any model for which we want to create front, top, right and isometric views. Hey, my name is Alan. Thank you for watching this lecture. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. If you want to become a SOLIDWORKS professional, if you want to earn a SOLIDWORKS official certificate, then you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certificate exam. This can help you to get a better job, to negotiate a better salary, and to accelerate your career. In order to earn SOLIDWORKS certificate, you have to pass the exams. I have a courses that can prepare you for the exams. I have enrolled over 30,000 students. The rating I have for a professional exam is 4.9. I have preparation for SOLIDWORKS professional, finite element analysis, surface, sheet metal, and drawings. In courses, you will find all of the tools explained. You will find exercises, examples, and samples exam, the similar one you can find on the real exam. Right now, I have a special offer, and this is if you buy one course for $10, you will get one course for free that you want. As well, if you refer any course to someone else, you can earn 50% per course. This way you can make passive income. So if you want to get solver certifications and you want to prepare for those exams, click the link below, check my website, and like and subscribe this video.